por la noche, baila por la noche. What's good? It's your boy Big Mike, aka B Mike Rob, with Velado Footwear. It's definitely going down over here. Another feature Fridays, and we got another great artist in the building. She's all the way out of the New York area. Please put your hands together, and you can do whatever you want to do. We got Veronica Cole in the building. That's the virtual claps in the building. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. How you doing, Veronica? Oh my God, Mike! Long time no see, man. We go this way is, back. This is the man. You are the man. I'm the man sitting next to the woman. How oh, that? stop. Oh, That's what it is. is. So, Veronica, let us know what's been going on with you. Well, the pandemic's fun. Uh, we just exited, but are still in like a quarantine mode, yeah. I guess you can call it. So, mm -hmm. where I'm from in the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, we were on a super lockdown. Um, and I decided to take advantage of that time to kind of re tap into who I am to kind of get connected with myself, to kind of get connected with where I want to go. And for me, I feel like I didn't lose too much time because yeah. everybody was in a standstill. So like, I, I tried to take advantage of that and put things into perspective for myself and see like where I want to go, what I want to do. And, um, you know, I've been writing music, getting ready to go Good. back into That's the studio. What I was ask you I've been writing music. I've been getting back into the studio with production. I'm starting yeah. to try it because people are just starting to open it back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're... I'm trying to get back into the studio and continue working on the releases that I want to put out. Now for 2021, because it was supposed to be 2020, yeah. but you know, this year's a lot of fun. Um, but I'm working on releases for 2021. I also started from the ground up on TikTok. Okay. Uh, within this okay. last year, I went from zero followers because I didn't want anybody to know I had a TikTok because yeah. I thought it was just a bunch of people dancing to songs. Um, but I decided to create my own platform on TikTok, okay, and from okay. now I'm almost I'm like 0.7 away from 160k. Look so, at that! Wait, so so real quick. Yeah. What how, what do you feel about the TikTok era? I love because it. this whole this I love whole it. era is it's like changed because I know it love went it. from musically, and yes. they they pretty much bought the TikTok bought music right and all the content. So I mean, how do you feel about like the whole TikTok era? Because that's like. The new, the, that's the new, the new, new. new. The new normal. It's a new, new. I love TikTok. Okay. Um, I'm on live right now. I love TikTok. I love my supporters on TikTok. I love how many people you can reach through TikTok. You will end up reaching people from different countries. And, and, and social media has that perspective yes, regardless. Yes, yes, it does. But when it comes to TikTok, the algorithm is, it's key. It's its juice. You know, it's its flavor. It's, TikTok has a way of reaching people that no other platform has been able to do. Now, I wasn't on Musical.ly. I started TikTok less, well, I started actually creating TikTok content less than a year ago. Okay, so okay. it's crazy to see how, I didn't tell my followers about it at all. Because at one point I was like, this might yeah, be that's what I, Yeah, um, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was more so like for a lot of younger, no. younger generation, and but I, as I saw it, it's like it is. It's definitely another. It's platform. not just a bunch of teenagers. It's really, dancing. it's really not. Because really like not. you know, you're like in the 21 phase. You're like, is this okay for me? But it is. It's yeah. it's a community of people. A community of people where a lot of people share the same perspectives, the same exactly. outlooks. It's really cool because you can branch out to people you can never branch out to otherwise. People love to collaborate. People love to get along. People love to spread the word about things. It's very. It's almost like informational really as, well. as well. I yeah. learned how to cook because of TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I learned how to properly wash my clothes yeah. because of TikTok. See, because I, mean, I was an Instagram guy. Yeah. And it's like from Instagram, you know, and then getting with the TikTok, it's like I'm starting to still get into it. Yeah. But it's, it, it definitely shows a lot of different um, content yes. that, that's really, that you can really use. It's, it's kind of like its own fun Google. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it it kind of takes like what you like. It sees what you like. It sees what you yeah. watch more, what you spend more time watching and kind of creates a page for you, which is yeah. why the for you page is a thing. So personally, I love TikTok. I think it's great. I love my community. I love the people who support me. I love how supportive the community is. I love how informational the community is. Overall, I think it's a 10 out of 10. I absolutely That's love it. Up. And I love my following out there. For those of y'all who follow me, thank you so much. That's and thank up. you for spreading the word. You know? That's what that's what it's all about. But um, speaking about, you know, like more so being what it's all about. It's like this this unity that we have here at Velado Footwear. Yes. You know, we go way back, but it's years. It's, it's been years. family. And it's, yeah. So, so how did you link up with Velado? Okay, funny story. So, um... I was in like high school and my friend James was hanging out around a lot of this area like he started coming in and out of LA okay and he was like hey I met this brand 
named Vlado Footwear. Now, I had heard of Vlado Footwear because back when the Iconic Boys were coming in yes, and out of LA, out of I danced at the same studio America's and I was friends crew. with them. Yes, America's, America's Best, Best Dance crew. crew. So I was friends with them and I had started gaining a following just because I was around the studio, I guess. I, I don't know, I think it's really funny. Mm -hmm. um, but I started kind of hearing about Vlado Footwear. I knew about Vlado Footwear and then mm -hmm. my friend James was like, you need to meet my friend Hector. And Hector from Vlado Footwear is one of the most genuine, nicest family guys I've ever met in my life. I, I mean, we Definitely. instantly connected. Definitely. He has the best spirit, the best heart. Like, I instantly fell in love with this brand because it felt like family. Yeah. When I came to LA for my first time, I knew nothing. I met Vla I met Hector for the first time on my first trip to LA when I was a teenager, and. Hector made me feel at home. Yeah. Vlado made me feel at home. So for me, it's like I grew up with Vlado. I grew up with Vlado always supporting me. I grew up with a brand that has a heart. You know, there's X amount of people who work here and you can physically talk to those people. It's not like a mm -hmm. brand where mm -hmm. you're not talking to a human being or you're talking yes. to a computer. You know, this is, it, it's, a, it's a ground very, very engaging. Up engaging brand. Yes, and yes. It's, it's a brand of people who really care about their merch, who care about their influencers, who care about mm -hmm. their products. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about it. It's like family, you know? Okay, yeah. And you made me feel at home. And I love we're it. We appreciate you because you definitely, um, you definitely have been an asset as well as a family member okay. to the brand. And, you, and you, you've never forgotten where you come from. Absolutely. As well. So, as an artist, so, I always try to push that. Exactly. So what, what would you like, what would you tell people, you know, what kind of message would you give to them about, you know, yourself as well as being partner with the brand? Never give up on who you are is my key. Because growing through the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. doing dancing, doing music, being an influencer, connecting with people, you have to know where you came from. And it's important to never let those people go. Because I've, I've always seen myself as a person who brings people up with you, mm -hmm. working together, being a collaborator instead of just the, you do this for me, you do that for me. Yes, yes, yes. I find that collaborating with people is the most important thing, especially yes. in the entertainment industry, but in any industry relationships in general, are very important. relationships are very important. Yes. And it's not about utilizing those relationships for gain. It's about genuinely loving those relationships, That's right. That's right. catching up with those people, you know, during the pandemic, I was reaching out to these people. I was reaching out. We talked, I spoke yeah. to Hector. It's about actually genuinely caring about the people that you meet because you never know, you never know what that person brings to the table as a collaborator, That's not right. just a gain, but you don't know when you need somebody, that's right. when you that's need right. a shoulder to cry on, when you need someone that's there right. for you. And that's the key. Never forget where you came from. Because that's if right. I forgot Blotto, LA would never be the same for yes, me. Yes, yes. And that's LA, like a big part of LA for me is Vlado, is my family here. I always reach out to y'all every time you. I'm yes, out you here. you definitely do. This is my family here in LA. That's right. And I will never forget it. And that's the thing is be true to you. Be true to who you are no matter what it is. Stay you. That's you know what I appreciate that because Thanks. because that lets me know that how genuine a lot of people are in this in this it's world. Hard to find genuine. Kind of, it is very hard to find genuine people in the world. But um, with that being said, we we brought back out the Spectro Three. Oh, which sick! From back from back in the day. Yes. When they, when they were doing that, it was a whole jerk movement. So, <laughs> but when we brought it out this time, it was uniting it was uniting everyone through dance and music. Beautiful. So what would you say with that, with us bringing that back out and uniting each other through dance and music, what would be your, you know, if, if I asked you that question, what would be your, um, what would be your answer about us bringing that back out with that message? Dance and music can't live without each other. Yes. You can't go to a club and be silent and stand still. You can't dance. I, I mean, how are you gonna listen to music without even bopping your head? Like singing along to it, dancing along to it. Dance and music are hand in hand. That's right. I mean, if you hear a song, if there's a dance that you've seen to it, I mean, look at TikTok. A lot of the songs that are playing on TikTok, a lot of the reason why people know those songs is because there's a dance to it. Yeah. And True. then you hear that song on the radio. Yeah. And then you hear that song. I mean, the clubs are close, but yeah. like you'd hear, you that, song hear that song at a club, a on the radio, in a store. Yeah. And it's because they're 
was probably a dance to it. And music I think and dance music is and dance are machine. like this. They're hand in hand. They go back to uh, back when the Charleston, back when the electric slide was oh, yeah, made, yeah, so back exactly. when like those the wedding dance songs, Sweet Sixteen dance songs were created. They ha they made a dance to it to push the song. That's right. You know what that I mean. So music and dance have always been hand in hand, and I don't think that's ever going to change, and nor should it, because where's a where's a song without a vibe? Hey, music, you know? music and dance changed the world. Because, yeah, absolutely. You know, it brings people together. It, brings, it unites people. So. I mean, uh, where else in the world at a time where people were just starting to come together, different races, different social exactly. groups? Exactly. Where in the world would you find two people of two different races, two people of two different social groups? Being Engaging. together, dancing at the same song. Yeah. Do you know how cool that is? Like yeah. that brought people together. Even right now, when we're still fighting that battle, something like dance can bring races together, can bring people together, can bring social groups together. It's important. Without even speaking a word to each other, you connect. That's right. And I think it's beautiful. That's right. That's right. Very well put. Yeah. That's very well put. <laughs> so it's a truth. You know this is so. You know this is Feature Fridays. So. Yes. We normally ask artists that come in, artists and dancers, you can either give us a freestyle, you can either sing, you can rap, or you can dance. Which one do you want to do? Y'all don't want to hear me rap because okay. that's not my game. Okay, not okay. Gonna you're, be you're good. Lady, then you're you lady. don't want to hear me rap. I try in the shower, okay. it's not so cute, okay. my family will tell you. Um, not wearing the shoes for dance, but I can sing you a little you bit of a song. You can sing something? Okay, well, if she's going to sing it. So with that being said, you already know this is Feature Fridays, where we put the artist on the spot. We got Veronica Cole in the building, and she's going to sing us something. Veronica Cole, let's go! This is an original song. I'm going to be reproducing it and putting it out because things change, vibes change. I, I hear something new and different, so I'll be okay. putting it out. So this is for you guys to hear. It's not on the web right now. You cannot find it anywhere, but you will. This song is called My Baby. Let's go. Doesn't matter what he does. Doesn't matter what he's got. I love him just the way he is. He'll always be my baby. Doesn't matter where he's from. Doesn't matter where he's at. I love him just the way he is. He'll always be my baby. My, my, my baby. My, my, my baby. Yeah. You know he'll always be mine. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. We appreciate you for coming by. Thank Feature you. Fridays here I in appreciate you. I appreciate Give it big mic rob, man. I love this dude. Man, I, we love you. Lotto so footwear. You thank y'all for having me. I love y'all so much. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Most definitely. Once again, you're tuned in to Feature Fridays. We appreciate you guys. You guys keep sharing this link and let them know how to get a hold of you. My TikTok is <laughs> my TikTok. Yeah. My <laughs> TikTok is at Veronica underscore K O L E. Get me to that 160K. I'm only a point away. Um at Veronica underscore K O L E on everything Instagram, TikTok, Twitter that I never use but I still exist. Um, but definitely on the, the TikTok, check out my lives, check out my music, check out my TikToks. I have a lot of fun. Come vibe with me. Check out my Instagram. I do it for the stories. Music will be coming on iTunes, all your major networks. 2021, baby. We're working on it. Thank y'all so much. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and we'll see you soon. That's what's up. Once again, Veronica Cole, you already know. Feature Fridays and Velado Footwear. You can't spell Velado without, without the, the LA. LA. Let's go! Viva Polano.